I started I started dancing when I was ten, and um, I started in, when I moved down to Florida. Um, uh, I tra my my training is mainly Russian and Cuban, and um, my first competition was when I was eighteen at the Youth American Grand Prix, and I got a scholarship to the Royal Ballet School, so I went there and graduated. And, um, How long were you in the Royal Ballet? Just for the graduate year. Oh, I yeah, see. Invite, I was I was seventeen, and they invited me for the graduate year. Nice. I can went earlier too. I really enjoyed it. And um, and then and then from there, I was in um, ABT, the studio company, and then uh, Cincinnati Ballet, Boston Ballet, and then for uh, things in Spain with uh, Angel Corello when he had his company in Spain. And um, now I'm freelancing for the past five years now. And I think what, what that proves is um, the, the importance of hard work and discipline because it's much easier for an artist, for a performing artist like Joseph, to be with a company where there's a routine, there are classes, there are coaches, there, there's a regular routine that keeps you going. But when you're freelancing, you don't have that routine. You have to create for yourself. And that's what his, his dancing clearly illustrates. That, I mean, I, th I think I, I, I would put it very closely to the discipline that a writer would have. You have, to make, you have to make yourself wake up, get into a routine, and write, and, and write, and write. It's a, it's a very personal discipline that not everybody can do. And looking at you when you at the rehearsal, oh, that, that is for me the most formidable. Your discipline. <laughs> So determination <laughs> to work on your body. Really amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's, it's, it's your tool, as you know. Yes. So you have to take care. I know. Um, I would say, yeah, I mean, so many dancers who I, I, who I know who have freelanced have, I see them now and they have their they level have their Gone down. Gone down and yes. I don't want that to happen. Absolutely. Really. And it goes down fast. It goes down fast. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the mind gets involved. Oh, because if you can't do something you used to do easily, yeah. then the mind starts to get involved and then it's harder. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's mental. Yeah. It's so true. Yeah. So just yeah, taking class every day and having the time to to condition or go to the gym has been a really big part of my freelancing as well now. Because I'm not in the studio working six hours a day, and I try to balance it out with taking class, rehearsing in the morning, and then conditioning as well. If I need to go swimming or <coughs> do the bike, or things like that, it's been really helpful to me. Can you tell us about your injury? You you got injured recently, and you had to recover. Yes, it was so. um, a little about two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I was learning. I um, like I was learning about. Thank you, Firebird, Giselle, and Nutcracker all at the same time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it just wasn't a very organized situation where I was at. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of pressure to. Yeah, it was a, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't honest, um, every place is different. So I, wasn't, I didn't feel I was getting the, the right care and respect mm -hmm. that I'm, you know. In certain here, like here, it's just been so amazing to work here. It's been so amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, just That's the respect from the dancers and from the staff. It's just it's amazing, and you don't you don't find that everywhere. It, not much at all, honestly. It, it's hard to find. So that being said, yeah, there when I was working, I didn't feel that, and it was a lot of pressure. And, and of course, there's always going to be pressure because you want to do great. But on top of having that. You know the leaders in the front with that giving me that pressure as well didn't help and um, yeah I, I broke my fifth metatarsal um, I just kind of went over it and it cracked and um, yeah I was uh, I was upset with myself of course because I, I didn't speak up I should have I should have just kept saying I, I couldn't I couldn't do it but, um, yeah it was a nasty break yeah and that's how long we off um. I was back dancing after six months. Okay. Six months. Mm -hmm. I was taking back on stage after six months, mm -hmm. and I was back in class. 
I mean, I was back performing in six months, and I was back taking class in about three months. And then you, you want to be here with a lot of uh, cold and hot and cold and hot, no? Yeah, yeah. I did um I did physical therapy for um for like two weeks after you know I had the boot on for about I think it was five weeks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they took out the they stitches. They put the boot on to make sure you do not do anything in high school. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> yeah, sometimes I, for me they they had to they had to go in my foot and I have. Uh, Plates and, and pins, but I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. <laughs> so, but it's just I was so worried because it's my power leg. Ah, uh, yes. So I of do. Course, there's, there's that. Yeah. So, but it feels fine now. But it was a long, you know. Was, mm -hmm. But you kind of use mm -hmm. that to fuel to fuel you yourself and to want to come back yes. better. Yes. So. <laughs> Do you have any favorite families? Oh. My favorite would be the next one I'm on, I feel like. That's next always my year. favorite. So this yeah. is Don Q. Yeah. I'm always trying to put everything in each each ballet. Yeah. It's always mm -hmm. kind of my favorite. Yeah. We won't you won't get right if Don Q's not your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you say it, something it, else. That's very, that's very personal. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's. I'm always yeah, trying to concentrate on the next one I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And I always. I mean, I love all the classics, but I would. Yeah, I would say Don Q or, or Giselle. Yeah, yeah, of course, Harry. Yeah, of course, Harry. Yeah. This story of Giselle. Yeah. I love yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yes, by there, I can see you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, are you still joining competitions for ballet? No, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> my last one was uh, Seoul. Seoul. Okay. That was, that was my last one. Usually they go to 28. Oh, yeah. So, not even. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People are asking how old you are. Oh, how old are you? I'm 22. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I'm 33. And it's, usually, you know, in companies, you know, they see a lot of major companies. They don't. If they see you're over 30, it could possibly be harder to get in. You know, a lot of people. But Joseph is dancing at the 23, 24, 25. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so the age, yeah, you don't ask, the, you don't see the age. Yeah. And can you tell me the story how Joseph uh, became part of Don Quixote? Was it something like you saw you saw him uh, perform in uh, a play or... Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can tell us more about it. Um, when we were talking about doing this, and we needed a partner for Candace, and I thought of Joseph because uh, I met Joseph at his first competition, the first international competition. It was my third. Uh, it was in Jackson, 2006. 2006. I think you were all like 21 years old. Mm -hmm. 2021. Yep. And I was uh, standing in the doorway. I was guest teaching for a summer intensive in Jackson, Mississippi, and at the end of the day. Uh, I heard some music going on in the other room and I stopped in the, in the doorway and there he was with his partner for some black swan. So I stood and watched and the man that was coaching him was also teaching at the summer program. And when they finished, he looked at me in the doorway and said, Adam, is there anything you have to say? So I went up to Joseph and I told him, you need to do this and this and this when you're turning. And he said, okay, I'll try. And he did it, he did very well. <laughs> And then he turned around and said to me, thank you so much, I will never forget you as long as I live. And so we've just become friends over all these years, and I thought of him because of what type of a dancer he is. So I sent him a message and said, hey, this is where I am, this is what I'm doing, I'm staging, it's on cue, would you like to do it? And he was like, yes, let's do it. <laughs> so there's been a lot of back and forth trying to get it all arranged, but that's actually how it happened. The dancers are thrilled because they've been watching you on YouTube. So you're quite a, he's quite a star. So they're like, I think if I just have, to, I just want to say, 
when you arrived, I was at the company room, and it was the boys, the straight guys who are also giddy. Yes, Lester was like. Lester was like. And then Sarah, Sarah, the girlfriend of Lester, she's like, she's like. What's wrong with you? Oh my God! At the bar, the first day he took class, I thought Lester was going to have a stroke. He couldn't focus. He couldn't. And every time I was like, Lester, do you have a combination? That's why I was saying that. He was all in a dither. He wanted to see Joe. Well, but you admire somebody, you know, constantly. That's that's part one of your the goals or the inspirations. And suddenly he's in the same room as you are. Yes. Going across the floor with you, and yeah, big deal. So that's what I said. Was he's very Inspiring, and I think that's one of the nicest things about companies now this global exchange, you know, the sharing. Well, the Violet Philippines has always been fortunate in managing to to share the stage and draw in a lot of a lot of um, big names in the company in, in the dance world, like Makaroba came and Buhones came. Fontaine, my girl Fontaine, we've danced with Nuriev, so we, 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 we've uh, He's in good company. He's in good, he's in good company. He's in good company. <laughs> I had the honor to work with Fernando oh, before he passed away. Yeah, he, was, he was doing so good with yes. Orlando Ballet at the, at the time. Yes, and it was really wonderful. I mean, it was yeah. awesome to Fernando Ross. He was great. But I, I'm, I'm inspired as well being here. Amazing, just an amazing group of dancers and working with Adam. Mm -hmm. It's just, I, I felt like I was back in Jackson when, because he was helping me again yesterday and giving me a certain correction. And just, just to, I don't know, the way you explain things with your corrections and stuff, it's just so, that's what I, I love. It's not just one thing that he says to do, but he makes me think of how I can do it mentally, and it's just so helpful. So. Just so, it's just such a, an amazing company. I'm just so happy. If I might just interject that, uh, it's Joseph's always taking correction from me, even online. <laughs> we yes. post videos and I'll be like, yes. uh, your right hip's a little too far up, or your left shoulder's dragging. You'll be like, got it, warrior, go. Yeah. <laughs> so it's good for the dancers also to see that even at this level, you still have to improve, you still have to get better, you still have to take correction, that you don't just arrive at a point and like, sit there. So it's, uh, and thankfully Joseph's one of those people who's very open to correction and being helped and getting better. Because as soon as we stop learning, then we stop. And that's all of us. I learn from the dancers every day. Yep. Every day. Incidentally, her name is Dulcinea. Very oh, really? appropriate. Wow. <laughs> Dulcinea. Nice. <laughs> so, is your dog cute? Yeah. <laughs> 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 in a dream. In a dream. In a dream. In a dream. <laughs> in a dream. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. I have a question. Uh, what's the, uh, what are the advantages of advancing the series? Um, it's just more versatility, I would say, in terms of the excitement and the energy and the amount of what you can bring. I guess you can say it, you know, athletic wise, in terms of athleticism and jumps and turns and all that stuff. You can really add your specialties into this ballet because it, it gives you that time to do that throughout the whole ballet. Story You're line. constantly dancing. Storyline, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then of course, you know, the uh, the artistic part too. So it's just story. It's like it's acting. Just, you get to do pantomime and yeah. act and show your comic side as well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So it's wonderful. I love that about especially about Don Q. Yeah. It's, it's fun too, it's not yeah. like you, you know, know. every ballet has its different Giselle, you're very good. I've seen Don Q a handful of times with different companies, and by the way, I saw a video of you during rehearsals, yeah. doing the 
classical terms and then the pirouette and uh, ending with an arabesque. <laughs> and I was gasping while the others during her were cheering me on. <laughs> 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 it's not it's not photography trickery actually. <laughs> we didn't just keep looping it. <laughs> we actually did do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. My God. But I think what we appreciate as well is the the maturity. You know, as we said, he's acting he's acting with great maturity and experience. He dances with the vitality and the vigor and the energy of a twenty three year old and he's acting and partnering. The other thing is partnering. He's a wonderful partner. Camis is the happiest person <laughs> in that yes. theater because she's got him partnering her. So there's that. There's the, the technical, you know, uh, incredible technical prowess, but there's also the maturity in the acting because Basilio is, you know, goes from beginning to end, literally. And then, uh, and then the partnering is, is is an understated element. It's so important, <laughs> and yet you don't really see it. If you see the partnering, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah, right. that's so true. I always yes. said if I'm invisible, then I've yeah. done my job. Yeah, yeah. that's the yes. thing. They, they only see her, then you've done your job. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs>